Thank you for taking a couple minutes to check out our hands-free tug -no more harness system. Just wanted to go over the features with you and show you how it works and all the options that you have available with this system. This is my trusty model, Pluto. It's an Irish Wolfhound mix, so he'll be helping me out through this demonstration. The harness we designed it so that it doesn't affect your back or your arms when you're walking or running. And it sits right on your hips and right on your rear end. And it goes right below the belt line. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But let me first show you about how just to put it on. The system we used, our brand new material is this black mesh. It's lighter, it breathes better, especially in the summertime. And we have reflective tape right along the top. So when you put this on, you want this to go right below the belt line, and you want the straps to form an X. So you're going to take the top buckle on one side, and you're going to connect it to the lower buckle on the other side until it snaps. You're going to take the lower one, connect it into the top, and you're going to form an X. So what happens with dogs, whether you're walking or running, when they pull, they're going to be basically pulling here against your hips and the straps are going to basically collapse right around your hip section. It's going to give you better control, like I said, when, when walking or running. Out in front we have a quick release, so if you find yourself in a situation where you need to disengage from the harness, this quick release is there to do that. And it's going to slide back and forth in front whether the dogs are to the left or to the right of you, you can have that convenience for side to side motion. You're going to take the swivel snap and you're going to connect it right here to the quick release. In order to disengage from the quick release, you're going to pull the neck of it toward you. You're simply going to pull it and it's going to open up. In order to reset it, simply flip the, the top portion of it, pull the neck down, and connect. You can take this swivel snap and then just connect it back to the uh, to the quick release. In front, if you feel more comfortable to use a, a handle, we've sewn in and designed so that you have a handle that you can hold on to. So if you need that extra assurance when you're walking or running, you have this in front of you. Further down, this is called the leash lead. And then further down, we have a metal buckle that slides up and down depending on how long you want the leash lead and the whole system for your dog. Do you want the dog to be two feet in front of you, or do you want the dog to be five feet in front? So right here we have what's, uh, our poop pouch. And you can go ahead and keep disposable liners and scoops for picking up all those goodies on your walk or your run. So just put these back in. And if you want the length of the harness or the leash lead to be adjusted, what you're going to do is take the pouch off, you're going to slide it down, and you're going to take this little extension here, and you're going to slide to make the leash lead longer. And then you simply slide the pouch back up and then connect it to this swivel ring that makes it so that the, the leash extensions don't get tangled. You're just going to simply connect this back in place. That way the pouch doesn't move around. Further on down the system, as I mentioned, is this swivel ring. And if you walk one dog, two dogs, or more, our goal is to make sure that these leash extensions don't get tangled. So you can take these extensions, connect it to this ring here, and if you have another dog, you're going to have another leash extension. So each dog has a leash extension that will be connected here. We also designed it so that the leash handle is sewn on each, each extension. And I'll explain more of that in a minute. So Pluto's got his extension, 
and I make the connection right to his collar. So this is what the system is going to look like here on the front. And I'll just show you simply by Pluto walking. Here, Pluto. Let's go. Let's just walk this down this way. Come on. We'll be out in front, again, whether walking or running. Let's go this way. For some people, they want their dogs closer, whether it's for training purposes or just simply right by their side. So what you can also do is simply take the leash extension, take off the leash lead, and make that connection right to the quick release. So some clients don't use the extension piece. And in this way, you've got the handle right on the leash extension. You can use the pull in if you want training purposes. And you can also take off the pouch. Just thread it, slide it off. And you can simply make the connection here. Connect it right to the uh, swivel snap on the dog, close to the dog's collar. So this is another option that, that we have. When running, I, I take my dogs four times a week, five miles. And by about mile three, Pluto starts to slow down a little bit. So we've designed on the back of the harness a ring so that you can go ahead and make the connection if your dog slows down or they walk behind you. So I can simply connect the leash lead or the leash extension in the back and simply have the dog walk or run behind me. And that can be done with either the extension or having the, the lead and make that connection on the back side. So if I want this option again, I can go ahead, make the connection to the quick release, connect it to the swivel ring here. I can change the position of the pouch. Slide the pouch back to the center. Just thread it on the back side. Connect it to the ring here. Connect the leash lead here. And then I'm back to the full system. So there are a number of options. One of the nice things, too, about these leash extensions is that if you have two dogs, what you'll find is that they're going to pull against each other first before that, that energy comes back to your backside. So plenty of options. We have an instruction booklet that comes with the harness. And if you run across suggestions or questions, feel free to contact us anytime. Thanks so much.